What's up, everybody? I thought I'd show you something pretty cool. So, um, I did not get this, but this is a Russians AK-74. And it was taken off of a Russian. And um, something that I thought was kind of cool about it was it is smooth as butter, like a Jim Fuller Rifle Dynamics super smooth. Um, yes, they're all fully automatic. Um, but yeah, this is a super smooth, well-oiled Russian actual AK-74 taken off of a Russian in this war. Too freaking bad I can't bring this home, huh? Be a war trophy for one of these Ukrainians here, though. Um, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. They said I could show it to you. thought you guys might like it. Everything else is about the same as the ones. This is a Ukrainians. They're they. I mean, they almost they're almost identical. Um, but the Ukrainians are all brand new, and so they're a little more stiff. And so this looks like it had been on a soldier for a while, and it's been well shot. So it is just oops, it is just smooth as butter. Uh, what does the trigger like? So. Easy breaking trigger. I thought this was cool for all of you people that wanted to see what a Russian AK is. No telling what they did with this thing. Sorry, bastards. No telling what they did with this thing. Too bad I can't take this to America. Thanks, America. So for those of you who have never thrown a grenade, let me just show you. This is the one that James Yeager... Nate pulled the pin on and see it's not a it's not a real fuse so let me show you this is a real grenade body still in America you get them and they've drilled the back end right this is an actual real grenade so this is an F1 real grenade uh, complete devastation everybody within five meters dies so see this is the fuse same grenade body right same grenade body grenade fuse trainer grenade fuse see them so nate was jacking around the other day we painted this one blue so people would know nate was jacking around the other day and he didn't know so i thought i'd show you this because it's kind of cool so um with this f1 grenade it is uh complete devastation uh to five meters everybody dies in five meters heavy wound shrapnel impact to 15 meters 200 meters of stuff flying. Now, this is the smaller little hand grenade, and this one, it only flies for about 25 meters, and it's like three meters, everything dies. Um, anyway, so in order to throw these, what you have to do is you hold this in the palm of your hand, okay? You don't hold it out here. You hold this little lever in the palm of your hand. You bend these little deals flat, pull the pin, Toss the grenade. All right. So, trainer grenade. Here's my trainer. I thought it was kind of cool because if you've never, if you played with grenades, you don't really know. When you pull the pin, right, you can put the pin back inside. Okay. Boom. Pin's back inside. Everything's good. When you pull the pin, boom, you can still hold the grenade. Actually, I'm holding it wrong. But when you let it loose... See it's springy right here? That's springy. The ones in America you get aren't springy anymore. When you let it loose, oh, that goes off, and then you got three seconds. All right, so this comes off. This top part comes out. This is all what I thought was super cool. Top part comes out. Inside of here is a spring and a firing pin, just like on a rifle. So, <clears throat> I'm not a grenade expert. We'll have to ask an EOD guy next time. But what I'm assuming is this is almost like a centerfire cartridge. Just me thinking. It's almost like a centerfire cartridge. And when it goes, it pops that. And then this goes, boom, right? Um, that's what I would guess. So, this makes this make this go boom anyway that's your grenade education for the day i would like to take these back to america <clears throat> not to do anything with but to just 
have on the shelf and show people. They won't let us, though. So I will leave them here in Ukraine, where I'm sure I already told you guys that the U.S. Customs had busted our balls about coming over here, and they already said they were going to bust our balls when we go back. And so <clears throat> we all know that they will stop by and say hi to us and search all of our gear again because they did last time. And we gave a bunch of it away to the guys here because we can always get more, you know. But we gave a bunch away. And they're going to go through all of our stuff. And <clears throat> I would not be able to do anything cool like that. But I know this was probably a little bit of a boring video. I didn't reset this grenade all the way. But I just wanted to show you guys how grenades worked because they're kind of cool. And <clears throat> we literally... CCW one of these two grenades every day. Like when we go out, we have one of these. As a matter of fact, I've got one in my pocket right now. And yeah, it's a barrier grenade. So pull the grenade, hide behind a barrier. But uh, there is a guy that is with me right now. He's not with me now, he left, but he was with me. The Russians had taken one of the medics and they were inside of a basement and they were trying to trade her for food. Anyway, he went in with a grenade, popped the pins, and then told them, give me the girl, and they gave him the girl. So they're clearly afraid of these, and they don't want to die, which is why I carry one with me, because um, if they caught me, there is no, um, they, they'll they just kill you. So if I got to die, they might as well die too, right? Anyway, that is your grenade lecture for the day, and I hope you like it.